It takes drive and dedication to become a pilot, let alone a fighter pilot. One must have determination and desire to excel and take on years of training. Air Force Captain Danielle Kangas says she's had those traits since childhood. I uh, always wanted to fly since I can remember. I grew up in Duluth, Minnesota, and we have a guard unit there that flies F-16s, and they would fly over, over our house all the time. And I went to an air show, and I saw some uh, fighter jets flying ahead, and that's kind of when I realized that I wanted to fly uh, fast jets. Five years ago, Captain Kangas went through the ROTC program at University of Minnesota Duluth to attain her dream of becoming a pilot. And that dream fuels her on to this day. The flying in general, getting to go out there and fly, you know, one of the greatest aircraft out there, um, just being able to go up there and do what I've always wanted to do my entire life, that's my motivation. The Air Force has approximately 13,200 pilots, of which only 670 are female. These numbers don't get in the way of her work. I never once had an issue with my gender in my job, and I, you can probably talk to every single other female pilot out there, and they'll probably get the same answer. You know, everybody, we're all just pilots, you know. We all have the same goal in life, we all want to fly. Pilots of the past inspire Captain Kangas to work hard and continue to improve her career field's work environment. Everybody that's gone out there and done this job before us and have paved the way kind of for, not just females, but you know, for, for anybody in general. A pilot's passion, no matter their gender, propels them forward to greatness. Airman First Class Sarah Mitchell, Masawa Air Base, Japan.